Welcome to the back nine of my practice round, all mic'd up. If you missed the front nine, head on over to Gatekeeper Media's YouTube channel. All right, hole 10, par three, 378 feet. I'm gonna trust my shot over the reeds. Not a lot of people like throwing over the water, but uh, I'm not as confident with the sidearm, so I'm gonna go over the reeds, try to get it close. Safe and a putt. Take that. Yep. Gotta love those birdies. Hole 11, 565 foot, par four. I'm throwing Emperor at the green. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good luck this weekend. I'm going to try a jump putt this one. This is like right in between the range of a Sonic and my jump putt. A little uncomfortable, but try to get it in there. Okay, not bad. Oh, that was probably the easiest birdie of the day so far. Hole 12, 987 foot par five. I'm gonna throw my control driver, Halo Wraith. Try to get it on the left-hand side of the fairway. Still kind of keeping it closer to the middle side, but at the same time, won't have much distance for the second shot. Try to get the eagle. That'll do. Oh yeah, this grass is nice and smushy. All right, Star Wraith Roller. I'm gonna try to get it to turn right where Chris is down there. I don't think I've gotten this eagle in competition yet, so this will be a good, uh, good time to go for it. I think it's pretty good. What do you think? All right. I'm gonna throw an air shot just for fun. Go a little big Annie. Little big Annie, that didn't even make any sense. Oh, that'll get the birdie. I want the eagle. <clears throat> Go in. Whew. Almost threw one in there. A lot of people say I don't throw sidearms. Well, there's one.
Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Hole 13, 363 feet. I'm going with the juicy Halo Wraith. I'm gonna try to pin it right on the pin. Pretty close to it. So don't land short. Cause that's still a good size putt from there. 33 uphill in the bunker with a penalty. When you can be 33 safe with no penalty. I'm going for the longer shot. Birdies are coming today. They're flying all over the factory store. Hole 14, par three. This one's a little bit tougher. You got the green on the left-hand side. You got the cart path on the right-hand side. So this one's really hard to keep dead straight where the basket is. So I'm gonna try to th throw the Halo Wraith, try to flex one and get it back on the stable side. Had a little headwind come up, but still manageable. Stayed safe, I think, on the fringe. If not, that's what you get for going for it. Saved by the fringe. I'll take the par. This is hole 15 at the Innova factory course. 367 foot par three. I'm choosing the Color Glow Rock 3. A little bit more stable than my other one. I'm gonna try to throw it straight and let it fade left slowly. Count them. So far, so good. Getting in a good rhythm. Hole 16, par four. This one's a little bit tricky for my landing zone because the green's right where I want to land. So I'm going to try to plant it a little bit more to the right and have an easier upshot. Right where I wanted. <laughs> Got a little headwind. I'm gonna go with the AVR X3. I would normally go Sonic, but this little bit of wind, I wanna make sure I get that guaranteed birdie. Now sit. Fine. A little left, but still, still good. Javier X3 comes in handy in the wind. Hole 17, par three, 300, 322 feet. This is one of the few holes that I throw a sidearm on. So I'm gonna just try to miss the tree here, keep it underneath the mando. 
and get down there just to get a par. Maybe a look at a birdie. Might have a look. Good luck this weekend, guys. All right, looks like I got a couple limbs in the way, but pound for pound, not bad for a sidearm. All right. I like this view better. It's kind of squares it up a little bit. Oh, those limbs are getting me. A little too low. That was the one. Still, so far, so good. Hole 18, the last hole at the end of a factory store, 632 foot par four. I'm gonna finish this one off with the Sabo, trying to land right before the green. Toss one up to the green and get my birdie. That's the plan. All right, now I'm gonna go for it. That'll play. Looks like it's in rock three range. I just gotta punch a little hyzer around that center tree that I'm at right now. Hang on. There we go. Old trusty uphill on a eight foot tee pad. Bring it. Woo! Wanted it. I wanted it, Derek. I thought it was coming right at you. All right. Yeah, I might as well finish it with two. Not a bad day today. Thanks, guys. It's a fun practice round. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me at the Innova Factory Store course. If you'd like more content like this, make sure you follow Gatekeeper Media and Innova Dis on their YouTube channel. Also, if you haven't tried Double G Craft Jerky, Check it out, doubleggjerky.com. We've got four flavors right now, more to come. Also, Double G Children's Foundation. We got a foundation started for each uh, percentage of sales. We got sales being kicked back to the foundation to help kids in need to get, get out and grow the sport of disc golf. So if you haven't grabbed a bag of Double G Craft Jerky, do yourself a favor, put it in the bag. It's the best snack ever.